see the thing is about the the ROPS and the quality assurance that's the conspiracy part of it how did the disabled ROPS make it past quality assurance the strange thing about this whole thing is is that the fact that they gave an exact percentage means that they knew about it like the nvidia brand like so somebody at nvidia knew about the defect but didn't say anything until they got caught here's the other like web uh, that gets a little deeper yeah when they said affected consumers can contact the board manufacturer which tells me that founders editions are not affected indubitably yeah exactly so it's like so so nvidia knew and gave the shitty dies to aibs maybe and kept the better ones for themselves for their founders editions i don't know that's that's like yeah well no i don't know it's not no don't buy a fact you still have a warranty it doesn't matter you just are made the pro but it's like like no at the, at the end of the day nothing bad happens this is more like my like tinfoil hat conspiracy theory type of thing going on but it's like what the hell was going on here and then and then how did that even happen that's the conspiracy part of it how did the disabled ROPS make it past quality assurance? I have I have no idea, man. Like, how did that happen? Because the machine tests it. I guess the machine only tests for SM counts, not ROPS. But then the disabled ROPS would have had to have been fused off somewhere in the production line too. Because if so, if if the ROPS were just disabled, a firmware update would re-enable them. Just like the old uh, graphics cards used to be when you would just flash the higher. Um, so a quick backstory. Back in the days of like the R9 Fury, the Hawaii chip on the AMD side, and I think it was the GTX 400s, or even the 8800 GTs and all that shit back in the day, you would buy the lower... So what would happen? They were a little, a little tricky. So you would buy a graphics card that had 56 CU enabled, and there was a 64 CU version, the perfect dies, right? Disabled, sorry. Yeah, so that means uh, eight of them were disabled. Eight disabled. Now, they weren't lasered off in the past. So you would take the perfect die BIOS, flash it over to the imperfect one. It would re-enable all those cores back again, right? Now, what would happen when you did that is you would boot the computer up and you'd have like space invaders artifacts all over the place because the, the those cores are defective, right? So how you would get around it is you would just up the voltage and then the space invaders goes away so you're you're running you're running the graphics card out of spec and overvolting it to compensate for the defective cores right because only the enabled cores met spec that's how it was back in the day so the this whole rop situation if it was if they were just disabled then they could theoretically just firmware update it and re-enable them if there's like some kind of mistake in the um the flashing of the bioses right but from what we understand they're actually lasered off and you can't re-enable them which means that yeah somewhere in the quality assurance pipeline they got lasered off so it, it, it they, they were they were meant for a different skew maybe or they had i don't know i don't know man i have no idea like i literally have no idea
I can't even claim to have a theory of what the hell was even going on there. So because they knew that they knew it existed, that got through the production line. No, it got through quality assurance. So they knew it existed. It made it through and they lasered off the ROPs and then sent those chips out. Now, the only thing that I can see is those chips were meant for something else and they got sent by accident somewhere else. Like, uh, my first thought was that these were 5090D dies meant for like Chinese regulations and like the sanctions from China or whatever. That's what I thought that was because that made the most sense. It's like, oh yeah, these are probably just the 5090D ones that they have to make to get past the AI regulations from Trump or whatever. But apparently the 5090D ones are also affected. So that's not the case. So I'm like, maybe there was supposed to be like, a, and then 5080Ti maybe, or uh, 5090 like 5090F or something. These were supposed to go somewhere else. Or the worst case scenario is they tried to sweep it under the rug and not tell anybody. I I find it hard to believe that that would be the case, though, because they would, as soon as somebody benchmarked it in like uh, anything, they would it would come out right away. Like like five percent difference, somebody would pick that up right away, right? You'd like nobody buys a fifty ninety. The first thing they do is launch three D Mark. The first thing. So I, I don't think NVIDIA would be dumb enough to try and sweep it under the rug. I think it was a genuine product that was supposed to go somewhere else. Or like the, um, you know how the professional cards have like A5000, A6000? They're the same die, but this has like some memory fies and some cores disabled. Maybe it was for like the B5000, the Blackwell 5000. Because like the, the, the Blackwell 6000 would have a perfect die and these ones would be shaved down. We have to wait and see when the B5000 comes out. If it has this many ROPs, that's what those were meant for. We just, we don't know yet though. That's the only, that's the best theory that I got, man. Honestly, founders editions have never been binned. Stop with that. No, stop with that. I have, dude, oh my fucking, oh my god, dude. Founders editions are not binned. More expensive OC models are not binned, okay? We need to, we need to stop with that shit. That's like, when people say that, I want to ban them for, for spreading misinformation. No, 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 no. There is no binning. Dude, the fucking Kingpin Hall of Fame cards are not binned. I had fucking base model XC1s that were better bins than kingpins, okay? No. 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 The only ones that you can say are maybe kind of binned are the perfect die ones, but those are because they're just perfect dies, like the 4070 Ti and the 5080. Perfect die equals... There's no defects and no flaws in the silicon, so it's like binned by nature, right? The matrix was not binned. It capped out at the exact same fucking frequency as every other 4090. The matrix was not binned. You might have gotten 20 more megahertz because it used liquid metal. Not binned. There's no binning. Clearly, there's no fucking binning because they didn't even catch that 5% of the dies had a bunch of cores disabled. If they actually did bin the cards, they would have caught it. There's no binning. Yeah, so the kingpin cards were just juiced up and overvolted from the factory. Exactly. Now, that doesn't mean they can't bin them. EVGA used to bin them by hand. Like, like... They, so like if, um, if they, if EVGA wanted Lumi to win a world record, 
it's basically what happened was they binned they had like let's say a thousand kingpin cards the cards were already assembled and they didn't know what frequencies they would hit they would put them in their own fucking test benches and write down the frequency of what they hit remember the 3090 ti's they had felt markers on them of the clock speeds they hit i still have mine the one card i kept from evga was the hand bend one with the felt marker on it so that when lumi needs a fucking world record breaker they send him a complete card all the rest of them they sold them to consumers man so they literally bend them by hand once they were already assembled but the the assembly plant doesn't bend shit no man no why do like just go test it yourself then so so if asus says so let's say they come out with a 5090 matrix and they say it's binned go buy it and then go buy a fucking zotac dog shit one and run them together see what happens again back to the original point of the fucking stream that we were talking about first hand experience second hand experience for some reason there's a bunch of people in chat today that are like founders editions are binned i know you haven't tested it uh they said the matrix was binned i know you haven't tested it what it's, it's like i know when somebody hasn't tested something when they spew secondhand information that's actually also misinformation you know what i'm saying i know right away because i have first-hand information that's how i can always sniff out fucking liars from a mile away when somebody says some shit in my discord and i know they're fucking lying it's because they're doing this and they got it from reddit and they're parroting and i only ever speak from here only if i say something it's from first-hand information never ever ever will i ever say anything to anybody that's second-hand information because i don't trust it fuck no dude i don't trust this shit it's like it's like the jensen's like 50 70 faster than uh 40 90 twitch chat is like oh my god 4090 obsolete it's like they didn't even test it and they already believe it now if i'm like i should make that youtube channel i'm like yeah guys 50 70 faster i'm lying i'm literally lying to people unknowingly because i didn't test it myself so when you tell somebody yeah the founders auditions are binned you're lying you're literally lying to people because you didn't test it didn't fucking test it so when i benchmarked the 5080 people thought i was lying because they're like the only reason your 5080 clocks that high is because it's a founder's edition the day after when all the aib reviews went up oh shit they all clock the same don't they because they didn't test it it's, it's so all those people that are like 5080 founders has been that's why it clocked so high you just lied to the entire internet congratulations you just spread a shit ton of misinformation and that's why we have a rule in discord the ultimate rule in the fucking the ultimate rule of life no test no talk if you didn't test it you ain't talking to me dude it's as simple as that no test no talk i don't have any interest in talking to somebody about a certain topic if they're getting their information from level two no it because you you didn't test it it's as simple as that man that's why i don't talk about like how to raise kids how fucking asinine would that be? I have no idea. I don't have kids, man. I have secondhand information. I know that's no, I know it's no good. 
I know as soon as I have my own kids, everything that I know is out the fucking window, dude. I already know. That's why I don't talk about it, right? It's like, I don't know. This whole bidding shit, man. Law of the cheapest model. Every single card that I've bought in, the cheapest model has always had the best bin. Always, dude. Always. The most expensive ones I've ever bought have been the fucking worst, man.